Hi, it's Mob.org, and as always, this is Jay. As probably many of you have guessed, this review is for Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, which was recently ported to the Android platform. When you see the first shots of the game, you can see that the graphics have been tweaked a little, obviously due to an improvement in productivity. And our main character, Kyle Katarn, can cut down enemies not only with a lightsaber, but also with his ugly face. How sharp is that? Now that's a face only a mother could love. For anyone that's been trapped under a rock for the past year or so, the Star Wars property and all of its many bits and pieces got sold to Disney for about the same price as a small country would cost. So is Mickey Mouse going to stop using magic and start using the Force now, or what? When should we expect Dark Jedi Goofy? You can call me Garsh Maul! <laughs> Aw, there's nothing to be afraid of. Everything is still where it's supposed to be, and the changes really only concern the control system. The real problem is that there's just not enough space to put all of the buttons you need, even on a 10-inch tablet. But fortunately, it is possible to connect the gamepad, like I've done, and quietly enjoy the game that way. We play as former Jedi Kyle Katarn. Why former? Well, he's afraid of being tempted by the dark side of the Force, so he decided to give up on being a Jedi and sold his lightsaber on eBay. Having become an ordinary mercenary, he's wandered space with his girlfriend Jan Ors, looking for adventures and new thrills. So they come across this dark Jedi, Dasan, who kidnaps Jan and convinces Kyle to think she's dead. After he realizes how worthless he really is after all, Kyle decides to become a Jedi again. I've got to pay those poopy heads back for what they did to Jan. I'll avenge you, Jan! Oh, by the way, it is quite a hardcore and challenging game. So much so that infantrymen even put mines around the dinner table. Just think, all you're looking for is a snack. Maybe some leftover bantha roast or something. You go and open your refrigerator, and kaboom! This game has it all. Locations, physics, and intelligent opponents, and love scenes. I can't live without you. And just what is Jedi training truly worth, anyway? Yeah, I imagine it's sort of like that. But as soon as you get your lightsaber, it becomes less important. After all, it's a frickin' lightsaber for Pete's sake! The fights here are some of the best in the whole history of Star Wars games. Here you can run over walls, parry blows, do somersaults, use the Force, and three different lightsaber fighting styles. In addition, you can sometimes throw it. Hey, don't lose it! Your weapon arsenal includes a blaster gun, blaster rifle, Sniper Rifle, DXR-6, Imperial Repeater, what the? A Destructo Electromagnetic Pulse Gun Thingy Model 2.0, and many other things. What can I tell you about Star Wars Jedi Knight 2? Well, it can be rather monotonous with a whole lot of senseless levers, rooms and tasks, stupid opponents and weak narration. Eventually the game fails through sheer tedium, but it excelled in one facet with the help of a network fight mode, which unfortunately isn't present here. Its main minus now in 2014 is that the game originally came out in 2002, and it looks badly dated even on Android devices. That all sounds pretty bad, right? So why is it worth playing then? It's still Star Wars for crying out loud, and if you only go by its remarkable fighting system and decent plot, that still makes it more interesting than most other games for Android. Well, that's all for today. If you liked it, download, like, follow our channel, and join the group. There are still lots of cool things to find there. This was Jay, with a review from Mob.org, and, of course, may the Force be with you!